Okay, so I'm going to do a quick little video, probably about 10, 15 minutes or so, but this one's going to be an important one for just getting through Thanksgiving and kind of setting yourself up for success. Um, if you're following a plan, if you're on a plan, if you're not on a plan, uh, one of the things like Thanksgiving, and I think it kind of starts at Halloween, but going through the holidays and the holiday season right now, a lot of people really just just lose control. And it, there's a lot of poor choices. And now we're getting really heavily into the holiday season, I think, especially Thanksgiving after holiday parties. Um, and as I'm recording this right now, it's like, right, COVID's kind of slowing down quite a bit. So it's like we're going to probably be connecting and being around a lot more family. There's going to be a lot more food, alcohol, like choices that can lead us down a to to poor health and just getting down on ourselves and it doesn't have to be that way i mean the thing is it's a great time of year it's a great time to connect um it's a great time to be with family and i'm just going to give you some things to be aware of you make your own choices obviously we all make our own choices and it, the keys like i just want to make i want to help you to be aware so you can make better choices for yourself uh, going through the holidays, any parties. And the reality is that it's not just the holidays, it's parties like this, this kind of think outside of just Thanksgiving, because I'll, I'll be focusing more on Thanksgiving right now. But think birthday parties, special occasions, weddings. Like the thing is like you need to take control of these things because they are always coming up when you're trying to learn how to eat healthy and create a healthy lifestyle. You've got to learn to manage a lot of the things we're going to talk about today and be aware of things that I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to dive in and give you kind of perspective of calories um, and just kind of look at the bigger picture of like parties and out things outside of Thanksgiving. And Thanksgiving Day might be one of the heaviest days that we eat. Um, and it doesn't have to be an unhealthy day. Like there's the option of doing it the right way. Uh, and I'll, I'm kind of going to I'll go through that now. So uh, let's go here. OK. And again, like this goes Thanksgiving, holiday parties, Christmas, birthday parties, special occasions, like any, like any, any special occasions. Okay. So here, let's think Thanksgiving. So this would be an example of a Thanksgiving day meal. So we, we got a glass of wine. We've got cornbread. You got some sweet, candied sweet potatoes. You got some um, green beans. Um, <laughs> What the heck you call these things? Uh, the cram, whatever. We'll get into. I, I got. A, I got another picture of it here in a bit. Uh, I forget what they're called. Uh, we got the turkey with some gravy on it. We got the stuffing. We got the mashed potatoes with a little bit of the gravy, and then we got pumpkin pie. So, like this would be a normal plate that I feel that the majority of people would be eating. And a lot of times, like we're even going to go back for seconds. So let me give you. Let me just give you a little thing to think about here. So of this whole plate, we got about 1,753 total calories estimated. So, and I'm, I'm gonna go through each one. So at red wine, you got 125 calories. Candy, sweet potatoes, you got 187 calories. Green bean casserole, you got 227 calories. Cranberry sauce, 102. Pumpkin pie, 280. And I feel like that's pretty conservative for the pumpkin pie, because I feel like it would, it would be more, but maybe I'm wrong, but Probably not. Um, gravy, you got 25 calories. That's pretty conservative, too, because I know gravy can be super heavy. Um, <clears throat> so turkey with the skin, you got 177 calories. Stuffing, 195 calories. Mashed potatoes, 237 calories. I, I think I said, I'm not sure. It's 198 for the cornbread. I might have said that already. But so regardless, it's like you got 700, 1,753 calories. And I, and I, I would, I, I think I could say like this is, probably not even that big of a plate for people so you're adding more and then you're going back for seconds i mean you're easily looking at one meal like the 1700 plus maybe even 3000 depending on how much you can eat so it's like this is how it can get away from you so it's um you need to be aware of the clerk and take your taking and taking and just of the food and this is one of the values of making sure that you're tracking just so you can can do that okay now, I'm going to go through each one. So turkey, you got three and a half ounces of turkey, you got 177 calories. So in that, you got about six grams of fat, 30 grams of protein, and there's not going to be any carbohydrates. With the skin, you're going to get a little more calories and you're going to get a little more fat. Skin's where all the fat is. So if you do add the skin with it, uh, that's turkey breast. So if you go the darker meat, you're going to get a lot more fat in it. So that's going to add more calories as well. And let's face it, um, 
Like turkey breast is dry and usually not all that great. I can't say it's not all that great. It tastes good, but it's like compared to the dark meat that's really juicy and filled with fat and a lot more moist, it's, um, I think the majority of us are going to enjoy more of that. So, and then or not, like we do get turkey breast, uh, we add a lot more gravy, which increases calories. Um, and again, my, my idea here is I want to just give you perspective so you can make better choices for yourself. And I'll kind of go over that here at the end. Got a half cup of stuffing here. Uh, 190 calories, 9 grams of fat, 20 carbohydrates, uh, and then 5 grams, I got, or we'll just say 8 grams of protein. Um, I, I usually don't look too much at the sugar. I just will focus more on carbohydrates. All carbs convert over to sugar anyway, um, over to glucose in the body. But regardless, I'm not going to go into that right now because we'll be here all day. Um, protein, 8 grams, and then candied sweet potatoes, like to, like sweet potatoes are such a healthy food. So it's like um, you don't have to add the actual honey, whatever you do to sweeten them up. I, I've never actually had candy. I know they're a big one at Thanksgiving. I've actually, I don't think I've ever had actually candy ones. But like this one, 255 calories, 3 grams fat, 3 grams protein, 51 carbohydrates. And one of the things, like be aware, like as you're, <clears throat> you're going in, a lot of people, I've been doing this for a long time. A lot of people are like, hey, it's Thanksgiving. Like, I don't want to be restricted or confined to have to follow anything. And you don't have to. It's your choice. But in reality, like 70, 70% whatever is overweight in this country. The obesity rate's 36. I haven't looked at the statistics in the last year, but I think around 36%. So many people, I've worked with tons of people. So many people are pre-diabetic type 2 diabetes and one of the problems is is that mindset is the problem so it's like going in with a plan and I'm just, I'm just going to give you ideas like I just empower people to be able to make decisions and choices and I, yeah I might give you I might give you little light bulbs going off which might upset you but the reality is is like you got to take care of your health um, like this time we spend here is important being healthy, feeling better. I just did a, um, I just finished up a 12 week program with a 19 year old kid that I was working with. And he was just going over like how much he's learned. He's lost 21 pounds. He actually looks great. He's actually put on some muscle so you can kind of see a shape coming in. He's still, still got some weight to lose, but, um, he got a promotion at work the time we were going. He just applied for the police academy. So the kid's got a lot of things going on. He got, like he said, time management. Like these are all the type of things that I teach, but the health is important. And that's one of the things like it's not just I'm not just saying cut this stuff out because like you should. Like I'm telling you because it, it there's a bigger purpose for all this. Like it's not just like reducing and not overeating and it's not just about having a good body it's about having a better life and like i'm sorry but this stuff ruins people's lives when they're overdoing this again and again like yeah this is thanksgiving you have choices you can overdo it if you want but and if you make that decision make the decision and do it like um it, it's up to you and just be okay with it but have a plan of how you're going to undo it as well so um again like the key is just being in control of the choices and everything that you make. Okay. Uh, I'll continue. So we got green bean casserole. So green bean casserole, 191 calories, 10 grams fat, 4 grams protein, 22 carbo carbohydrates. Um, it, like a cup's pretty big. So it's like I, I feel like this is going to be a lot more. Um, and again, like when you start measuring, like you start learning these things, but we'll, we'll just go with this one here. But I, I think this fat, there will be more fat in it. Um, and especially if, I mean, you're putting these, whatever these are, I, I know my grandma used to make this. So this is something that I, I would probably be having at Thanksgiving if, if it was there, just cause it reminds me of my grandma. But, um, but it, it's again, like, as you start tracking, like you're like, yeah, that's probably not right. Like, you, you'll learn but anyway okay cup of gravy i know this one this one's kind of a weird just i found these numbers online so i was just finding trying to find the for about the picture that i had there but 181 calories you got 10 grams of fat 11 grams of protein i, I don't know where the protein's coming from so i don't think it's going to have 11 grams of protein it's probably gonna have a lot more fat in it because i know you're cooking it with the 
coming from the turkey fat, so it's most likely going to have a lot more fat, and it's probably going to be a lot more calories. Carbohydrates, I know you do add some flour, and so you, carbohydrates might be right, might be a little bit more. But again, like you need to think about these things because um, if you're not cooking it yourself, you don't know. So you just always have to guess. And that's, I'm just trying to give you perspective here. And I, I am giving you pretty conservative ones that I found. I'm not going like with the really high ones. Cranberry sauce. This is the one I can think of the name. Um, a cup of this, 110 calories, 28 grams of carbohydrates. Um, <laughs> and again, like when you start tracking like a cup of that, I mean, that would be a huge portion of that. So it's like, I, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot more carbohydrates most likely, but I don't, I don't know, but cause they're adding sugar into it and a cup's a pretty big amount. So, but regardless, we'll go with what's there. Um, cornbread, 150 calories, three grams fat, three grams protein, 28 carbohydrates. Um, wine, you got a five ounce pour, about 120, 125 calories. And I do drink my wine. So I do get that. Now, this one, might, if this is confusing to you, the way that I treat train people, because I, I track calories based on macronutrients people are eating, um, and I have them track the alcohol is all carbohydrates. Alcohol actually doesn't follow with fall within macros, car, fat, uh, protein, carbohydrates, and fat. That's where I get my calorie numbers from. Alcohol has its own calories, so we just take the total calories of alcohol. We'll divide that by four and that will give us the total carbohydrates so that's how we do that so if that one's confusing that's how that number comes up okay pumpkin pie slice of this 323 uh, 13 grams of fat 5 grams of protein 46 grams of carbohydrate so um and i mean how many of us are having two three slice, slices so it's like these things add up so i mean the amount of calories that we can intake on thanksgiving can just be excessive Okay, so now how do you stay on track? How do you, or how do you not overdo it? So, um, I forget what my next one here is. Yeah, plan. So plan what you're going to do. Planning and preparation are always key to be successful. Uh, like, as I train people, uh, I, it's, it's everybody. Every time something's coming up, it's like you need to plan and you prepare for what you're going to. And I help them kind of come up with plans and ideas for what they need to do. That's what I'm trying to do here with this video that I'm going to be sharing with everybody. But... Um, planning and preparation are key and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like the, a lot of times, like we come up with this plan and we think like, Hey, it's not going to be perfect. Sometimes we just completely screw up and don't follow the plan at all. And it's okay. Like the thing is like, it's always there for learning and you got to just reflect and figure out, but like you have to plan and prepare what you're going to do ahead of time. Um, and like, if you're really committed and you're on it, you're going to follow your plan and you're going to do it and you're going to have a great time. And like, parties and Thanksgiving way and like all these things that I talk about like they're kind of the juice of life they're great things it's great to sit down and have connection with people as you're having food like the other night like with the family Sunday night I, I cooked ribeye ribeye steaks and I, I usually overdo it I usually cook a lot and I usually end up having a lot I love ribeyes um, but I had a ribeye steak um, and I end up going to the store and buying a couple. I got potatoes. I made the, so I made some little French fry things for the kids. I made a little mix of potatoes and I, and I actually just did small amounts. And then I decided only to cook one of the ribeyes, which was about a pound. So I just had a small piece of it. I gave a small piece to my wife and I gave some pieces to the kids uh, and it ended up being a great meal. And I actually had some other, I had some broccoli. So it was, it was a good, healthy meal. Not overdid it. It wasn't going to probably four or 500 calories, whatever. But one of the things we did is like when I was walking out, I saw a sample cheesecake little platter and it was it was like six bucks, just a little thing, little tiny pieces of cheesecake. Actually, I didn't look at the calories, so I didn't track that. Oops, I'm guilty. Um, <laughs> but we sat and like we had dinner. It was kind of nice and warm outside. We had dinner outside and it was, we end up like I, I surprised them with cheesecake because I didn't tell because usually I don't buy that kind of stuff. Like we'll have it on time, time, time. My wife will generally get it more than I rarely ever buy it. So it was like, I hit it in the fridge and I'm like, I got something I brought out. So it's all excited. We're eating like these little small, and we all just had one piece, but it was a great, it gave me a different experience, like with having sugar and dessert after a nice meal that wasn't over full because fullness will kind of bring your energy down. But, and then we connected and it, it was a great experience and this is what the holidays are about this is what the wedding i mean you can have that connection but it's like you just got to go in mindfully with a plan and be prepared so you can make better choices okay 
Um, so this is a suggestion. Suggestion: um, Wait to consume alcohol till dinner starts. Because a lot of times, like if you're having too much alcohol, you're not only taking in a whole bunch of calories, but like you can make poor choices because you can. Let's face it, you're going to be a little buzzed. Your inhibitions are going to be dropped, and you're going to make probably choices that are not going to serve you with what you're trying to do as far as being healthy. So if you're eating your wine with dinner or your drinks, it, you might not over consume like with the alcohol. So just a suggestion. Um, next suggestion, drink a big glass of water. And I want you drinking that big of a glass of water. So just kidding. But before you eat dinner, like drink a big glass of water and drink a lot of water as you're eating your meal because that's going to fill you up. Like when you feel really full, you're not going to want to eat more. So it's, it's just a trick, tricks to the trade. And I mean, these things work. A big glass of water before you eat will definitely can help deter you from overeating and eating too much or just little tricks. Um, <clears throat> eat a balanced meal. Like you, you don't have to overdo it. You don't have to eat everything that's there. Uh, and then there's lots of different choices of how you can go about it. It's like just pick ones that you want. Or maybe maybe you do want to overdo it. And it's your choice. Like if you do it, just plan it. And then, But plan, plan like how you're going to overcome it. Like you don't cut calories. Or like the key is like what I teach people is like just get back on what you were doing afterward. You overdo it because it happens. I mean, it happens to all of us. You just get back on to whatever you're doing. But um, I, I mean, one of the things is like eat a balanced meal. Like choose to eat something balanced. Like, I mean, this would be perfect. And Thanksgiving is a great time. Like there's plenty of healthy choices. Like you can get the green beans, you can do the turkey breast, you get a little bit of gravy. Yeah, it's got a little bit, it's a little heavy, but who cares? Like it's Thanksgiving, enjoy it. But you don't have to do these massive amounts. Um, same thing, mashed potatoes. I mean, those can be crazy heavy and just excessive with the amount of calories and then adding gravy to it and stuffing. So, but this, like, just make it sensible and do a small plate. Like one of the tricks, like you could do small plates so you don't overeat. Like big plates, a lot of times, like just psychologically, we feel like we've got to fill that plate up. If you just do a smaller plate, that's another suggestion, like, so you don't overeat. And that's a suggestion, like you can do every day. Like, um, I, I have a lot of people do that and that works a lot eat slowly like <clears throat> one of the things that I, I noticed with my kids when we're having dinner like like I inhale my food I do eat really fast um, and I need to slow it down myself uh, and I noticed my wife she doesn't eat as fast as me but it's like she does eat fast but the kids kind of take their time and um, in the last couple of weeks I was just kind of noticing like I mean they're enjoying we're having fun we're talking we're joking we're we're enjoying our experience together as a family um, but my wife and I are like, I feel like we're like, our plates are never that big. So it's like, I feel like we're done like in five minutes and then the kids were there for another 20, but it's like, and this is, these are things that we need to work on, like slow down, enjoy, like have more fun, like eat the food slowly. <clears throat> it's also going <clears> to, <throat> sorry, it's also going to fill you up. So you're not as full. So, um, it takes your body about 20 minutes to realize it's full. So like if you do eat a plate and you eat it fast because you're really hungry and you're excited, whatever, like wait 20 minutes and then see if you're still hungry. And then if you're still hungry, then go back for more. You're, you're probably not going to because you're going to be full. Uh, but let that settle into your stomach. Um, and if you're eating slow, you're drinking lots of water, you're going to feel more full and then you won't overeat. And let's face it, like when you stuff your face, and I'm, I've been guilty of it many times, you're not going to enjoy your time with your family and everybody else that you're wanting to spend time with. So uh, you're going to be full. You're going to be sluggish. You're going to be like, oh, it's like it's so uncomfortable. Like, I can't even stand that feeling anymore. Um, and then like give yourself the opportunity to just have more energy, feel better, not feel like you've ever done it. Like it's just better. Um, this one's a great one. Uh, this is not one that I have practiced, but I think it's I think it's a great suggestion. And then it may be something I do start to work on, like as I'm working on eating slower, set your fork down between bites. It's going to create that <clears throat> space in separation. And that'll just give you the moments to sit and think about <clears throat> sorry, I'm out of water here too. I just went for a run in cold weather, so it gives me a little bit of phlegm in my throat. Um <laughs> as I'm talking about eating. But anyway, it'll get like when you set your fork down between meal, it's it's going to create like picture this fork, you set it down, it creates space. So as you set it down, just kind of maybe give yourself a gentle reminder, like, hey, enjoy the food, enjoy the company, enjoy the experience. 
and then take your next bite and just kind of do that and train yourself to do that. And, and then you're going to eat slow. You're going to enjoy like, again, like we're trying to have the best <clears throat> time ever as you're doing it. Okay. And it was like, this is just a quote that I found on, on, online here, but it's like, right. Like after Thanksgiving, regardless of party, whatever it is, like just rise up, start fresh. It's a new day. Like just because you may have ever, if you do ever do it, like, it's okay. Like you just get right back on to being healthy. You just get right back on to living healthy and being. You don't beat yourself up. You don't get down on yourself. You don't have to go do 30 hours of cardio the next day, even though there's not 30 hours in a day. Uh, and then you don't have to starve yourself because that's just not 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 smart. Um, you just get right back on it. Um, if you overdid it really bad, it might take a week or a little longer to kind of recover from that, just depending on what you're doing. But um you just get right back on and it's a new day. You start, it's a new opportunity. And every day is like, if you just think about that every day, it's a reset and you can reset any moment that you just <clears throat> decide. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I hope this is helpful. I hope you have the best experience, like with whatever party, Thanksgiving, whatever it is, wedding. Um, and I hope this helps you to create better health and feel better. So have an awesome day. I'll talk to you guys soon.